Hi, my name is Julius and I'm a PhD research student here at the University of Essex. I carry out research here at the University and I study soundscapes of coral reefs, which also means that I'm not only based here at the University of Essex, but I go out to Indonesia on uh, regular field trips as well. I study marine soundscapes and these are very important for coral reefs because fish larvae uh, use them to return the reefs, a bit like a beacon surrounding coral reefs. And essentially they determine whether we get more fish or not at the reefs, so it's, it's a very important subject. I chose to come to Essex because at the time it was one of two places in the world offering me uh, a PhD in this particular field of research. The Coral Reef Research Unit here at Essex is one of the leading research facilities in the world for the effects of climate change on coral reefs, and in particular coral reef resilience and how corals' physiology changes and depending on the, the different effects it is put under that simulate climate change. And that's why here at this facility we have a lot of separate aquariums uh, behind me. Each one can be carefully monitored and manipulated to form different environmental conditions which replicate what we see in the field. Carrying out research here at the University of Essex gives me, and not just me as a researcher, but also undergraduates which come to study here, the fantastic opportunity to carry out research in one of our Indonesian field stations. And this is located on a tropical island in Indonesia, in one of the most species-rich and diverse ecosystems on this planet. This season I'll be going out and taking recordings of coral reefs using an underwater microphone called a hydrophone and then I'll be using playback sounds from my underwater speakers uh, in choice chambers for fish larvae which I collect using my light traps. Coral reefs are really noisy places and they're full of the snaps produced by snapping shrimp which form a constant background crackle within the reef environment. But not only is it the snapping of the snapping shrimp, but fish actually capable of vocalising. Lots of people don't know this, but fish produce sounds and produce many different sounds from grunts, pops, chirps, to whistles, uh, some even snore. Carrying out research here at the University of Essex, uh, which is an internationally recognised university, is going to allow me to carry on in future directions, not just within the UK job market, but actually worldwide.